this geezer right here is currently 450th in the entire world. How have I done that? Fuck knows really, but we're here now. So we might as well just try and win it, right? We're after match day one, 98 points, 68 points, 95 points. And after that point, I think I was, I was up to 15th in the world at one point. But it was like halfway through a week. Uh, and I think up until last week, well, the last match day, I was 100th in the world. And then we did do a big unlucky back down all the way to 450th. Oh, how can we cope now? Nah, still have ahead, ahead of all the other content creators. Best in the world, right? So today, I, was, I thought I just spoiled the team then. Today, I'm going to reveal my round of 16 match day 7 team, which not only is sexy, but it's going to get me to first in the world because... That's just how we do, isn't it? And it currently looks like... Ooh. Hey! You just got caned. You just got caned. You just got caned. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, then that's your fault, not mine. Do it on the YouTube. So, yeah, this is the team we're going for right now. And I was very close to ending my life because I was 0 0.1 million away from like the perfect team like after about 20 minutes just sitting here twiddling my thumbs and I was just like ref what am I gonna do but thankfully I've come across this sexy team now my budget is a lot higher than the regular I think it's been increased I don't bloody know I'm not a nerd that reads all the rules but my budget was higher because I'm doing pretty well. I've added in all these players that scored points. I got the money. I'm basically stocks. I'm basically a stock trader in UCL Fantasy. You know, love that. But what I do also love is this team because we have Emmanuel Neuer and Summer between the sticks. And as I say that, I'm like, wait, do they even play on different days? Yes. So, I mean, do I attempt to try and give you some tips? I mean, I don't really care, but... Make sure your goalkeepers playing on different days. You can sub, do subs between each of these match days. So, well, each each of these games. So tomorrow, both at eight. Well, in in GMT time, whatever time for you. And then after that, you can do subs, and then after that, you can do subs. And after that, you can do subs. And then the cool thing is, between leg one, and leg two, you know, this one and this one, you can even make transfers. So you actually only need to look at these. And then we get three transfers for the next leg and then five for the quarterfinals and then same again for all of them after that. So big and boys, big tip. I mean, if you want to receive that, you have to subscribe to the OnlyFans. Sorry, I don't make the rules. But all I'm saying is just, just target the best fixtures here. And the fact that you can make subs in between each one, I've actually only got three players in the last games because then... I can basically like have almost my full team played and then keep making subs as the days goes on. And then by the end, I've hopefully had a full team of all of the points. I love that. So yeah, not your in goals. Thing is with goalkeepers in Champions League Fantasy now, you wanna you wanna pick players that you think could reach the end. There's no point in having bloody four PSV players because they're doing well in the Eredivisie. Mate, I could do well in the Eredivisie and I'm crap at football, right? But yeah. You want to pick the players that you think are going to go all the way. Manuel Neuer, he's going all the way, son. I mean, I don't even think Bayern... Well, Bayern are overrated. Thomas Tuchel is like... Mate, dare I say it, Graham Potter was better. Graham Potter, if he was managing Bayern, he'd, he'd win it. But yeah, no, even though I'm saying they're overrated, I've got triple because that's just what we do. Manuel Neuer, he is expensive, but he's got a good fixture... This week and well this the round of 16 and I don't want to be making goalkeeper transfers so I was like right Neuer can stay summer I did originally have Neuer and Edison but Edison six mil and I'm an Edison because I don't want to be spending six million on a goalkeeper that ends up conceding like one chance a game and conceding a goal and I lose the cleach and then I lose in my mind but there we are so summer you know fancy oh mate what is that Chad pose he's doing hey guys I'm Jan Summer I'm the best UCL goalkeeper. Where's, where's the music when you need it? Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. You guys have absolutely no idea what I'm on about, and that's fine by me. Look at all these points, though. He's getting all the cleany sheets, and it is a hard fixture, but if he does manage to pull up a cleany sheet, then all of the points. Uh, obviously, the f 
my most expensive goalkeeper is playing first because Bayern are ahead of Inter Milan in the match day order on both of them. So I'm hoping my expensive goalkeeper can do the business. And then if he does get points, then I'm not wasting money on my bench. Lovely stuff. And if he doesn't get points, Summer can come on and for his price, he's definitely a good backup. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. And they're both good enough teams to go all the way. Well, so we're going to go all the way are this front line. Oh boy, this is... You know, like, the UK spend 500 million on, like, artillery firepower. Mate, this has more firepower than all of that combined. Because Harold Kane, he just got caned. Kylian Mbappé. Kylian Mbappé. And Haaland. Haaland. Da, 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 da. Mate, Haaland, Mbappé, and Kane. I, I, as soon as I put them three in, I was like, you know what? The rest of the team auto-picked. Yeah, I'm talking through all these. No, I didn't even choose the rest of the guys. This front three is going to score so much. That I'm probably going to cry because someone like, I don't know, bloody immobile from Lazio is going to bloody score more than them. But, you know, we're just going to go for these. And also, we're going to go for the Man City Haaland captain up first because they're in the first game. I don't have Jude Belling. Belling goal! Belly! Because he's injured. So, I mean, even when he's injured, he'll probably end up score coming on and scoring a winning goal because that's just what he's doing this season. But... We're going for the Haaland captain, and then obviously you can change captain. So I've got Haaland week in the first... Di what do you even call it? The the round one of match day seven of round of 16. That, there's too much kerfuffling going on there. So yeah, we've got Haaland. If he doesn't bang, even though he will, we then have Harold Kane and, Pierre, and Mbappe playing on the same day. But that's fine because Haaland's going to bang. And if not, I'd probably actually go for... Kane, even though he's away. But then, I mean, worst case scenario, we have a Saka on the last day. And even a summer on day three. Mate, watch this space. Then in midfield, it's not quite as attacking as I would like because we do have a six million midfielder who, well, six million defensive midfielder, seven million. Okay, I can't really call him a defensive midfielder, but he's basically playing as a six this season. And then Zaire Emery, I mean, PSG basically don't even have formation, so he's playing as a six and eight to ten, a bloody 22. But Zaire Emery, he's 5.3 mil and he's starting. And even though PSG against Saucy Dad, I don't think it's going to be a Saucy Dad game for points. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if PSG did lose. But the fact they are home... And they're one of the earlier fixtures. I feel like it's something you can really target. So much so, I've even gone for triple PSG. So, as you can see, I've gone for triple Man City, triple Bayern, triple PSG. And then we also have double Arsenal. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, we do. Yeah, and then uh, Napoli and Inter Milan and Dortmund, just to balance it out, basically. Yeah. But, yeah, Kali Noglu, mate, what has happened to him? He is literally scoring no goals. He's taking penalties for Inter now. So I was like, you know what, this fixture isn't great, but for a 7 million midfielder on on pens who could probably go through and just get something out of nothing, yes, love that. Kimmich is more of like a safe pick. Like he's scoring the five, the six points every game. And the fact he plays earlier on, lovely stuff. Block those points in. Philly four done. Again, he plays first, so he can go at all the points. I mean, the good thing is with the Man City game up first is that if for whatever reason Foden isn't starting or even Rico Lewis, the reason I've gone for them is that they fit in this team right now and if they start, I'm 100% choosing them because Rico Lewis has actually been starting all the games in Champions League as well, getting all the points. But if they don't start, that's fine because the deadline is kickoff of the first game, the first game being Man City. There we go, we're getting all the players. We could do a Foden out for like a Grealish or a Doku and then Rico Lewis out for maybe a Ruben Diaz or anyone like that. Kanji. Nathan Ake, anyone, maybe even Edison in centre back because Pep might do it. Why can't I do it? And then we also have a Baikayo Saka because, mate, look at this 11, 14, 12, all of the points. And dare I say it, the Arsenal game is probably one of the heavier favourites of to go through because, yeah, Man City, but Copenhagen do have Ro that Rooney wonder kid. And I played for manager, he's good on there, so he must be good in real life, right? But yeah, Saka, he's a, he, he is a boy that's going to get all the points there, and Saliba. So essentially, we just have a sexy team. We do. Triple Bayern against Lazio, probably one of the easier fixtures. 
Triple PSG against Saucy Dad. Yeah, it might not be great, but they play at home this leg. Yeah, th yeah, yeah, this leg. And then the next leg will have three transfers. So, you know, uh, Bellingol might be back. Um, someone else might just turn up and score all the points. Uh, oh, yeah, I did also want to say as well, Ian Mateson, right? You guys know him. Chelsea player, right? Gone on loan. He doesn't even have a pitch here. Everybody's like, no, don't even know him. Selected by 0%. Keep it that way, all right? Don't touch him because he has been absolutely incredible for the Dortmund. He's got like two assists in five games. He's getting all of the points. And yeah, he has he even played a UCL game ever before. No, but don't worry. It's going to be great. But what I have done with this is because I'm targeting the PSG, the Dortmund, the PSG, the Man City, the Bayern Munich, and Arsenal. I've essentially avoided the other games. So Real Madrid, Leipzig could be a high-scoring game. I haven't gone for any of them players. Obviously, I would get Bellingol, Belly, if he was fit. He is fit, but not in that way because he can't play. Um, and then I've avoided PSV Dortmund, apart from Maitland, because at 4.5 million, steal. And then Napoli, Barcelona. I think it's going to be all the goals. I did almost have Zielinski. I did almost have Yamal. But then I was like, you know what? Last game of the week. So if I don't want to have too many Arsenal and players from that game. And then when it is next week, when they kind of reverse, the Dortmund PSV Inter... I was going to say AM. A Atletico Madrid. I only have, well, two players. Three if you include Summer, if I have to sub them in. And then again, Arsenal there. So, essentially, I'm targeting the first few fixtures of each of the rounds. And then we can make the subs if we need to. But then, even though that's like a background thought, because that shouldn't be the main thought. The main thought is the team. And look at it. Amazing. I don't know how much else I could change that to improve it. And, yeah, that's about it. I mean, like, players like... <coughs> oh, cut. Technical difficulties. Um... Yeah, Hakimi is expensive. He, he, you know, six mil for a defender that probably won't be that attacking in a round of sixteen game. But you never know. But players like him, Di Lorenzo, he can't. They can score the big boy points in any game. And at this point, I'm four hundredth in the world. I reckon those are the kind of players that are gonna make the difference. And it's not like I'm budgeting out on any other players. I'm literally not got a single weak spot in here. And I'm pretty confident of almost every single one of these progress into the next round because I don't have any players playing against others as well so that should be good obviously it could go completely balls up tits up if like you know an Arsenal or Bayern or both or Man City imagine if Bayern PSG Man City and Arsenal will lose even if they scored all the points I'll be like you know what I'm 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 quitting deleting my team because I literally have no players. Golly, you're not glue until the final. Hey, let's go. But yeah, that's basically the team and um four hundredth in the world. Did I mention that? I'm I'm gloating about it now because that's definitely gonna go red all the way down. I'll probably be by the four thousandth by the time of next game week and four hundred thousandth by the final. But let me enjoy it whilst I can. Hang on, who are these cheeky scrubs ahead of me in Wales? One man show, Craig Morris. I'll show you a one man show, son. But yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching and bye. <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>